Hi, I'm Carl with Apt, and these are the new PX headphones from Bowers & Wilkins. This is their first venture into noise canceling, and in this video we'll take a look at that and really all the rest that these headphones have to offer. So we'll start by taking a look at the outside. These come in two different colors, black and gold, and we're obviously looking at the black pair here, but both colors look really, really good. The ear cups are made of soft leather and fit snugly around your ears. Well my ears at least, so they do a great job of isolating noise before you even turn the noise canceling on. The underside of the headband is the same and is also soft and comfortable. On the outside of the ear cups and headband you have kind of a rubbery textured material that feels soft and looks really great. The stems going from the ear cups to the headband are metal and have a concave design that houses the wires so they aren't sticking out. The movement to adjust these is easy too, so it doesn't take any time to get them to fit properly. To be honest, the first couple times wearing these, I kind of felt like the ear cups weren't that comfortable, but after I was able to break them in a little bit, I definitely changed my opinion on that front. On the right ear cup, you'll find all the controls. You have volume up and down, as well as a multi-function button in the middle that lets you play and pause, as well as answer and hang up phone calls. The middle button can also be used to skip to the next track or to play the previous track by multiple presses. There's also a small button below the volume buttons for activating the environment filter or what is more commonly known as noise canceling feature. And the last button below all these is the power slash Bluetooth button. Then you have your 3.5mm input if you want to hardwire these and a USB type C input for charging and that's important because you have to keep these charged for them to work, even wired. I was a little surprised by this but I don't think it'll be much of an issue since the battery life is really quite good on these. Now hang with me for a moment because there's a few numbers to go through. You get up to 22 hours with Bluetooth and noise canceling turned on, up to 29 with just Bluetooth, up to 33 hours wired with noise canceling on, and up to 50 hours wired only. So the fact that they need to be charged isn't that crucial since they can go for a long time under the right circumstances, but I still would have liked to the ability to use these without needing a charge, you know, just in case. Now moving on, let's talk about some of the cool things these headphones can do. The noise canceling is probably the most notable, so we'll start off by talking about that. B&W calls this environment filtering. The reason for that is that in the app you have different environments that you can select to tell the headphones what kind of noise canceling will work best given your surroundings. There's office, which limits background office noises but still allows you to have a conversation. City, which reduces louder noises that you may encounter while walking around in a city type environment. And flight, which blocks out engine noises and other cabin sounds. And these are all adjustable within each setting, so you can really tweak them to make them really kind of personalized. The other cool option is uh, that you can you have the ability to detect when you take them on or, uh, or take them off. If you're listening to music wirelessly and you remove them from your head, they'll pause and then start playing again once you put them back on. If you're using them wired and remove them, they'll mute but continue to play. You can adjust the sensitivity on these features too to turn them off entirely if you want to, so if it's not for you then you're not stuck with that option. For their first attempt at noise cancelling, I think they did a great job. I was definitely able to feel pressure when I had the level all the way up, but they give the ability to adjust so that if you have the same reaction as I did, you can always turn them down to make them more comfortable and they're still very effective even at a lower setting. Now, lastly we'll talk about what I feel is the best feature on these headphones, the sound. I've always been impressed with Bowers & Wilkins headphones and I'm happy to say these absolutely continued that trend. Admittedly, I'm not an audiophile, but within the first four notes of the first song I listened to on these, I was able to hear how natural everything sounded. I found them to be extremely accurate throughout the entire range of sound I was hearing. These use two 40mm drivers, <coughs> which, are all, which are both full range, and they have a frequency range of 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So altogether, these are some of my favorite noise canceling headphones I've ever tried, and you can pick them up right here at Apt in Glenview, Illinois, or on Apt.com. Have any of you had a chance to try these out yet? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. As always, we appreciate you checking out our video, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see videos on all the great products we carry here at Apt.